Results from Monaco, Monte Carlo Russian puncher Dmitry Bivol displayed why there's so much buzz around him with a 12th professional triumph and 10th knockout. Bivol found his range early on against Trent Broadhurst, dropping the Australian challenger with an inconspicuous shot in the first. A blow landed right on the bell at the end that same session, possibly not even thrown full force, completely laid out Broadhurst with no count needed. Referee Howard Foster waved the contest off as Bible successfully defended his WBA light heavyweight title for the first time. European heavyweight title holder Agat Kabyle stunned Derek Chisora to see out a majority decision victory on the scorecards. Kabyle started brightly before the contest swung the other way, although the mid-rounds were dominated by the undefeated German to seal the win. In the end, scores of 115,113, 115,114 and an even 114,114 didn't really tell the full story as a confident Kabyle took a career-best triumph for his CVA matchup against Dillian White could be a possibility for Kabyle in 2018 should the Briton fail to land a shot at WBC champion Deontay Wilder. Despite waiting a year to finally trade blows for a second time, Jamie McDonnell and Liborio Solis were left disappointed after a clash of heads ended their WBA mandatory ordered fight early. A nasty cut suffered by WBA champion McDonnell due to a headbutt was just too bad to continue and referee Luis Pabon called a halt to the bout on doctor's advice in the third round. The eventual no contest was warming up nicely, although a trilogy fight could now be on the cards in the coming year unless McDonnell decides to move on or up in weight. McDonnell is still 2,921, whilst Solis remains 2,551. Next up was Scott Quigg, bidding to move one step closer to the winner of the Leo Santa Cruz v. Abner Mares rematch set for 2018. The former super bantamweight belt holder proved to have too much brute strength for Oleg Yefimovich breaking the Ukrainian down before ending the fight in the sixth. Quigg has been training at the world-famous Wild Card Gym in Los Angeles, but it's hard to see how much improvement the Barry man has made against an opponent largely out of his league. In a pre-main event taster, Harlem Eubank made it three wins as a professional despite suffering quite a scare against rugged former French title challenger Abou Bicker Beckelham. Eubank maybe tried to impress a little too much in Monte Carlo and was on the floor ruled a slip, plus bleeding from his nose in the first few minutes of the fight. Shipping way too many shots for anyone's liking, Eubank got through with enough classy punches to see out a split decision at the bell. Initially scheduled for six sessions, the contest was cut to four and went on just before the main event with Eubank winning on two judges' cards to make it to 30.